All right, so today is uh, January 2nd, 923 in the morning. I had a rough night last night. It was just extremely difficult for me to breathe. Um, I do have asthma. And uh, what happened was we had a pest control guy come over uh, about three days ago, um, actually on, on uh, New Year's Eve. And um, he had to just take care of uh, some bugs and spray some pest control. <laughs> so, but that really does affect my asthma and it sucks. So I'm sitting in the car right now. Um, I had the window down a second ago to get some fresh air. I had some breakfast. You can't see it because I ate it all. <laughs> um, but I do have a little bit of coffee left, which I am sipping on. I like coffee. I drink my coffee black. I don't put any sugar or creamer in it because I think that's just extra calories. Um, yeah, but I mean... My goal now is to figure out how to deal with this problem of mine, my asthma. Um, I'm using my rescue inhaler a little bit too much. They say you're supposed to use two puffs every four hours, max, uh, if needed. But last night I, I used I used like three within a matter of uh, like two and a half hours. So that was really bad. That was really, really bad. Um, I don't particularly know if this is true, but I believe that you can have like heart problems um, from that, uh, from over usage of the rescue inhaler. It is albuterol sulfate. So a simple Google search, I could probably find out uh, everything I need to know. And I have done quite a bit of research on asthma. Uh, I do know that uh, some research says that using a rescue inhaler um, can have long-term health side effects. Pretty bad ones, too. Um, the website that I was reading from said that uh, over 10 years, like, eventually your lungs can become weakened. Because what these are, these are, like, uh, steroids. They're steroids, um, but not the kind that you inject. Uh, you inhale this. And it's for your lungs, not your muscles. Um, so I guess your lungs uh, eventually depend on that. And that's why it becomes weakened. I think there's also uh, some other things that can happen. But it's scary. It's scary. I never really thought about this. Uh, you know, as a kid and as a teenager, I never, I never really cared. Um, but now that I'm an adult, you know, and, and uh, I think most people, when they become an adult, I'm 21 years old, uh, you kind of realize that you are fragile. You know, when you're a teenager, you think you're invincible and you can do anything. Mm. But that is not the case. Um, yeah. See, the lighting there is kind of moving around. But yeah, this is my little update for today. Thought I'd just give you guys uh, some insight onto my life. Um, yeah, so I hope that was interesting. I'll be doing more of these. And yeah, uh, everyone have a good day. Take care. Stay healthy. All right, bye.